Hey YouTube, um, it's Anthony Angelo here, um, and this is my very first uh, re review on my YouTube channel, or rather, this is my very first video on YouTube, um, and today we're going to be looking at the Star Wars Vintage Collection Mandalorian, uh, my custom version right on right here, and the Maldo Crease version right here. Um, and before we get into anything, I'm just going to preface this by saying, uh, here I did switch the legs between the Maldo Crease version and the standard version. As you can see, they do have different legs, um, the wrong legs on each side, because I switched them, because I wanted ankle pivot on this custom version, and this is the other one. So that is something to keep in mind throughout this review. Um, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. So, uh, first things first, uh, we're going to look at the Maldo Crease version right here. So, this is the Maldo Crease uh, Mandalorian figure. It's really, really nice. I really like this guy. Um, if I really had any critiques, it's... <laughs> I, I, I really just wish that the there was an easier way to get a Season 2 Mando uh, for a cheaper price uh, without having to get this guy. Because while it is a good figure, I do think that the Snow Deco can provide a lot of hindrances for a lot of collectors and a lot of people that really just want a Season 2 Mando figure because of the Snow Deco. The Snow Deco can really... Um, can really ruin a standard look for Mando. And obviously that's not what this figure is trying to accomplish, but I think that it just would be nice if Hasbro would release a standard season two Mandalorian without all this snow deco, just to make it a little bit easier for collectors to get access to that. Um, overall, the detail's pretty nice. I really, really like um, the helmet sculpt, which I do think is better than the 6-inch Black Series version. Uh, I think it is more accurate. The 6-inch Black Series one just, it's always sort of looked very, um, very squished to me, very circular, whereas this one has that right helmet shape that Mando is supposed to have, so that's awesome. You got the Mudhorn signet right there, and then you got his gauntlets with the whistling birds and the standard one on this side, and yes, uh, like I said before, the legs are switched on this one, so there is no ankle pivot and no snowy detail on this guy. So there's the Maldo Crease Mando, and he did come with Baby Grogu, really tiny. He does have a little ball joint at the head and ball joints at the shoulders, and it's basically the standard Baby Grogu but he does have the snowy detail on the bottom. And I did switch out the head with the standard one on, as you can see uh, in the back there, or it, if it ever gets into focus, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, looks pretty good. I did switch out the head, um, but yeah, really nice paint. Got a little peg hole at the bottom of his little feet. So yeah. And it did, and this two pack did come with the cave spider, and a bunch of tiny little spiders and an egg, which I don't have on me right now, but it is really cool, you know, for more world building for your collection. That's awesome, I think. So there's the cave spider, and I think it does rotate. Uh, it rotates a little bit, but it's a bit tight on mine. But yeah, and then you do get some ball joints for the. Uh, front and back legs, so that's awesome. So yeah, there's a cave spider. Now we're gonna go over the standard version that I did customize to make a just a basic season two Mando. Now it's not perfect. Um, you know, there is some snow deco there that I wish was just clean, but at the end of the day, it does beat having to spend. Um, hundred dollars for that rescue three pack that they released in order to get a basic season two mando it's not a big deal at least i saved some money at the end of the day so 
is kind of happy for that. Here is my custom Mando. And I did add a custom cape, custom cloth cape, and it is a very nice material. I just found it lying around my house, um, but I did use that. And it does get out of the way very nicely. It drapes very nicely. I'm not so sure if it is the wrong color. Um, in some parts of the show, his, his cape looks like a darker gray. Sometimes it looks brown. Sometimes it looks black. So I just chose black. It may or may not be accurate. Um, but it looks fine to me. Um, but like I said, I, it may not be accurate. But don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, same overall sculpt, but you do have the extra plate there and the extra knee pad there for the Season 2 Mando look. He does come with the pulse rifle, and he does come with his little pistol inside of the holster. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Really, really good articulation here on this guy. And yeah, um... Another thing that this guy comes with is the jetpack, which did not come with the Maldo Crease version. And you can mount it on the back. And the thing about this uh, cloth cape that is even better is that since there's a little slot, uh, let me see if I can get it in. There you go. So you can see a little slot right there uh, where the jetpack doesn't fully go into the back that's where you can slide this cape uh, behind it to get that like sort of swooped look I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah there you go and there's Mando with the jetpack and last but certainly not least we have baby Grogu in the pram which is very cool basically the exact same figure as the other one it just doesn't have that extra snowy detail on the bottom um, but looks good though uh, yeah and it, it does come with this little stand so yeah it's pretty nice so that is my quick overview of my Mandalorian custom figure uh, in comparison to the Maldo Crease version and my baby Grogu. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate the support. Have a good one.